It definitely is an, an otherworldly environment. There's no plants, very few living creatures. You're in a, a very dark place. Whatever the light shines on, that's pretty much all you get. And so you have to kind of rely on, on your other senses. You sort of have this kind of hyper awareness. You're in a very tight place. You literally feel the walls closing in on you. You know, I, I feel like I want to run away and, and, and get out of the cave, but at the same time, I feel challenged. I feel like I want to push through it. Come on, guys. My name is Carl, and I'm a caver. John, you and the clear? Yep. Okay. I do have cancer. I, I, I try not to let it affect my own outdoor pursuits. It's just all about managing my own expectations about my physical capabilities. Are we committed like once we start or is it yeah. possible to turn around? Caving is moving underground where there is very little natural source of light. Splunking is more of a derogatory term. Splunking tends to imply uh, someone who is unfamiliar, doesn't know what they're doing or where they're going. Caver is more of a, a recreational explorer, but we're definitely prepared. Remember, you don't know when your battery's gonna run out. I'll bring my extra headlamp. Yeah, yeah bring an extra headlamp. Caving is very physically demanding and, and mentally demanding, uh, unlike any other sport that I've ever tried. You know you're sort of in a dangerous environment. You know that if something goes wrong, help is far away or, or may not be able to get to you. I think all cavers tend to have a difficult time explaining why they do it. For me, it's the combination of fear and, and, and physical challenge and just the adrenaline rush. Being able to see a natural environment that very few people get a chance to see outside of a, a book or a video. Amazing formations underground that boggle the mind. You know, you can't just go outside and, and see something like this. Dude. Almost every time you go into a cave, you're going to get stuck. Your body can sort of move and contort in, in many different ways, and all you really have to do is find one to get you through. You know, stop and turn around and explain how you got through a particular area. You always want to go with a group of at least three. You always want to have three sources of, of light. Caves tend to be a little cooler than the sort of environment uh, outside of the cave. If it's a, a living cave, there's going to be moisture in there. There's going to be flowing water perhaps. The deeper you get in, the further away help is. If anything goes wrong in a cave, it's gonna be up to your companions uh, to, to become your rescuers. Cavers come in all different shapes and sizes and they're from all walks of life. The other thing you have to have is, is just the interest uh, and then you just need a little knowledge. Grottos are, are caving clubs and they're, they're located you know, throughout the country. Look them up via the internet or phone book or something like that. They can put you in contact with other people that do the same thing. They can tell you about a particular cave. I wouldn't recommend going inside a cave without first getting information from a grotto. If you just want to try a cave out, then I would Google a tour cave. Tour caves are a great place to, to start if you want to become a caver. If you're looking to go into vertical caves, that is uh, caves where you need to repel, caves where you need technical gear, then you're gonna to have to purchase that gear. And that gear can be quite expensive, probably in a range of you know three or 400 bucks uh, just to get started. If you just wanna venture into horizontal caves uh, where you don't need any technical gear, then you don't really need to make any extra purchases necessarily. You wanna wear clothing that you don't mind getting dirty or ripped or torn. I don't think it's difficult at all to be a caver and to do whatever else you wanna do with your life. I think uh, the first people that, that will colonize Mars will probably be cavers because they're going to have to live underground. <laughs> so if you want to go into space or, or see Mars, become a caver. <laughs>